Well, I want to continue talking with you about the checklist to see if you have been called of God. And it's a checklist that I'm challenging you to use for your own benefit. It's not uh, that I'm trying to check you out or test you or see whether or not you're called. It's something I'm asking you to do for yourself. And, you know, we went over to begin with some things in your personal life that you want to make sure are where they ought to be. And then we went over how you've been preparing and we did a few of those. But let me start with some more. Have you had training in how to handle funds that do not belong to you? You see, a missionary will receive X amount of money as support, but much of the money that he receives will not be his personal support. There will be work funds. There will be money that's given to him that's supposed to be used for the honor and the glory of the Lord. The pastor receives a sueldo. And when the pastor receives a sueldo, excuse me, a salary, when the pastor receives a salary, he uses his salary for his family and their needs, plus he gives out of that for the work of God. And the church provides the church rent and the pews and all the things that go into ministry. But as a missionary, you're going to be responsible for, for maybe renting the church or buying supplies and helping national pastors. You've got a lot to do with your money. Some young missionaries get the feeling they don't know how to handle their money. They don't handle their money well, and, and they, they miss out on what God would have them to do. Another question for you to consider as you go through the checklist, have you learned to follow? Have you learned to follow? You know, everybody wants to be in charge, and few want to follow. But if you can't follow, you probably can't lead. And so you want to check and make sure you have learned how to, you, that you have learned how to follow. You have learned how to follow. You have learned how to um, follow and obey and follow instructions. Have you gotten into something very difficult where you had to learn to adapt? Uh, You know, you're feeling a call possibly to missions, and I would like to say to you as as you feel a call to missions that that's a pretty powerful thing. And and when you get to the mission field, you're going to run into things like you've never run into. One, you're going to start out with, you know, deputations really very easy. You hear a lot of missionaries complain about it, but it's all your language, all your country, all your culture. It's really not that difficult when you think about it for you to be in the, for you to be in the, in the, in the ministry. It's not that, not, I mean, it's just not that hard to be in, uh, to be raising money and traveling from church to church. The hardest thing is it's some discipline and it's to be out and about doing things for the, for the Lord. But what is hard it's when you're learning a language and, and no one understands you and they laugh at you right to your face or they question you over and over or it seems like they treat you like you're not that intelligent. It's, it's, what's really funny is when they invite you to eat some food that to them is good and you don't like it. And, and if you don't eat the food, you reject the food, you reject the people, you reject the, uh, the culture. You, you, you eat the, don't eat the food, reject the food, you're rejecting the culture, you're rejecting the people, and you're setting us, yourself up for some problems. So you got to learn to adapt. Have you learned to live and be content with what the Lord gives you in the way of finances or regarding finances and comfort? You know, it's, it's a matter of accepting that this great amount of money that's put in my trust isn't for me. It's for the Lord and the use in his kingdom. And so you've got to learn how to get your money under control, and you've got to learn how you're going to use all that for the honor and the glory of the Lord. Have you prepared yourself to raise your family, to lead your family in an environment totally different to anything you have ever known? Have you, have, have you come to the place where you realize, hey, you know what, I'm going to be raising my family in an environment different from anything I've ever known. You have to prepare yourself. Uh, you know, you're going to go, be going downtown and everybody's speaking a different language. Church is going to be in a different language. The grocery store is going to be in a different language. And not only that, you're going to see things on the street. And when we arrived in Peru, we'd see men urinating on the street, just urinating right there on the street, right on your car when you drove by. It didn't matter. We, we, we'd go over to newspapers and newspapers had pictures that looked like they ought to be pornographic magazines. And they're right there in public, and you've just got to learn how to raise your family there. I had somebody tell me, this place is so wicked, I could never serve as a missionary here. And I said, it's wicked, and that's why they need missionaries. So you've got to learn how to deal with that and how to handle it if you're going to make a difference. So you see, there's some preparations 
you need to make if you're going to be in the ministry. Now, tomorrow I want to talk to you about your married life and how your married life has got to have some decisions made in it so that you can accomplish the will of God for your life. So thank you so very much for listening, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.